hey guys welcome back to the channel today my name is Jose Tade, and on today's tutorial video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how to make a perfect shirt color so keep on watching and let's go straight to the tutorial welcome back guys this is the fabric i'm going to be using to share with you guys how to fix the color is a shirt that i'm making so right now the next step is for me to attach the color and this is the color gum that i'm going to be using to draft out the color so what i'm going to do first right now is i'm going to take the neck measurement so i'm just going to place my tape and measure the neck measurement of this shirt so you have to do this very well so you get the accurate measurement what i have here is 17 inches guys so i'm going to bring the paper gum this is the part that has the gum and this is the part that doesn't have the gum so you are going to fold it together like this to the part that has the gum guys so you're just going to fold it together and now i'm just going to roll a line here which is going to be like um a starting line for me so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to place my tape there. Then I will measure 17 inches divided by 2. So I'm just going to divide my 17 inches by 2. You see I have 8 and a half. So I'm just going to place it on the pattern paper and I will mark exactly 8 and a half. You see guys exactly 8 and a half. Then you will connect the dots just like this. Now, after doing this, guys, you are going to go up on that line by 1.25 inches, okay? So, I'm just going to place the tape on that line and I will mark 1.25 inches. I'll come to this other side and I will mark 1.25 inches as well, then connect the dots. So guys this is what you're going to have after doing that now the next step is i'm going to be going in by one inch so i'm just going to place my tape on it and i will measure in one inch do you see guys then i will rule up a line from that one inch just like this so after ruling this line now i'm going to measure two inches on this line you see and i'll make a dot there then i will go out by half inch you see guys then that with that half inch i'll make a slopey line just make a slopey line to meet that point just like this so right now i'm going to measure the same two inches on this slopey line that we have and make it dot then i'll come to this end here and i will go up by one and a half inches so I'll place my tape on it and go up by one and a half inches. Then I'll connect it to meet that point. So guys, this is what you're going to have after doing that. Now, the next thing is I'm just going to curve out this sharp edge. You know that color is not really sharp. So you're just going to make a curve here just like that now after doing this i'll come to this point and i'll be going up by 0 0.25 inch do you see what i'm showing you guys so this that's how much i will be going up so i'll just go up by that and i'll mark a dot then with the help of the straight ruler i will just slope it just like this guys do you see what i'm doing you're just going to slope it to connect and meet that line just like this it is very easy now after i'm done doing that i'm just going to go ahead to cut this out so guys this is what i have after i was done cutting it out you see how it looks so nice so right now what i'm going to do is to bring the fabric that i'm going to be using and um you see this is the wrong face and this is the right face so i'm going to place it on the table the wrong face facing up like this then i'll place my collar on it so i'm going to be using um hemming gum this is called a hemming gum because it already has a gum though but i want to add a hemming gum for it to gum very well so i place the hemming gum on the fabric place the color on it then i press it down with using the the hot iron so guys this is what you're going to have 
have to gum in the color to the fabric right now i'm going to bring this paper gum and i'll be gumming it to the other part of the fabric so i'll just place it on the remaining parts of the fabric like this and i'll also press it down using the hot iron so this is what you're going to have right now guys what i'm going to do is to fold the the collar together like this did you see what i did i'm just going to press it down with the iron then i will cut off the excess parts okay so right now after doing this i'm just going to pin it together from this end and i'll pin it together here again okay and i will cut this part open after cutting that part open guys you're going to fold this together like this this is what i'm doing guys you're just going to fold it to the color then this is what you're going to have and now i'll take it to the sewing machine and just sew it round okay so guys it's time to sew i'm going i'm showing you guys how i'm sewing it because there is something tricky that i'm going to show you in this sewing process so you get to find out very soon now guys that i've gotten to this point i'm going to put a thread just watch out what i'm doing guys you will get to understand so i'm just going to remove the pin then i'm going to put in a thread inside in between the two clothes inside of it like this did you see guys making sure that the thread is touching the needle then i'll make a stitch then after making that stitch then i'm going to take the thread and put it through inside the collar did you see just take it out from this side then i will continue my sewing so you're just going to do like that when you get to this end you are going to do exactly the same thing okay just put a thread do a stitch then sew it till you get to the end so guys this is it so this is it this is how you're going to sew it now that i'm so i'm done sewing guys i'm just going to trim out all the excess then i'll make a notch here you see and i'll make a notch on this other side as well so guys right now it's time for me to turn it out now you are going to see the importance of that thread so i'm going to be using the thread to pull it out this is what i did guys it has a very sharp edge there so the thread actually helps to sharpen that edge very well without stress so that is the tricky way of actually making your color look really really sharp at the edge like that if you haven't been doing this i think it's something you should try out so right now guys i'm just going to make a stitch on it round like that this is what i have after i was done making that stitch i also went ahead to make a stitch at the middle this is what i did guys so right now the next step is for me to fold in this part so i'm just going to fold it in like this and put it inside did you see guys i'm just going to put it inside you fold it put it inside fold it put it inside making sure that it is exactly with the line of the other one so this is how you're going to do it till you get to the end fold in and iron so guys this is what i have after i was done doing it so this line now the ironing line is where we are going to be sewing on so that's the important of what we just did so right now guys i'm going to bring the fabric and i'm going to fold it together like this make sure you align it very well then you are going to notch the middle just like that then you do exactly the same thing to the collar you're going to fold it together and make a notch at the middle So guys after doing that right now you are going to open up the fabric on the table then you are going to be placing the collar on the fabric exactly where you notch putting them together did you get it guys then you're just going to keep pinning it together you bring the collar and the fabric together pin it till you get to the end then you do the same thing 
to this other side okay So guys this is what i have after i was done pinning it together so right now i'm going to take it to the sewing machine and i will just sew it together like that this is what i have after i was done sewing guys you see i have sewn it together right now the next step is i'm just going to put the seam inside of it like that you see guys just make sure you put the seam inside then i'm going to bring the hemming gum so I'm just going to cut out the hemming gum and I'll place it inside of it like this guys then I will use the hot iron to press it down just like that I'll keep doing that till I get to the end so guys this is what you're going to have you see now it will be very easy to sew I'll take it to the sewing machine and make a stitch on it so guys this is what i have after i was done making that stitch our perfect color is ready if you love this video don't hesitate to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to our channel please endeavor to hit the subscribe button thank you so much guys for watching this video see you all in our next video bye bye